Welcome to episode two. Let's go. All right. We are on to the outskirts. Cairo station complete. Yeah. All right. So, uh, last episode, I kind of gave it a little bit of a break because, you know, it's the first one back to the game and whatnot. There's things going on. So this episode, pick something to talk about. You guys know that's the drill. And uh, we'll talk about that one thing. The message just repeats. Regret. 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 Texas. Any idea what it means? Dear humanity, we regret being here in We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret the Corps just blew up our raggedy ass fleet! Hoorah! Regret is a name, Sergeant. The name of one of the Covenant's religious leaders, a prophet. He's on that carrier and he's calling for help. Immediate. Grid Kilo 23 is hot. Recommend mission abort. Roger, Recon. It's your call, Sarge. We're going in. Get tactical, Marines! Master Chief, get aboard that carrier. Secure the profit of regret. This is the only place on Earth the Covenant decided to land. That profit is going to tell us why. Cool. 30 seconds out. Stand by to... I like threatening alien warlords. Oh, yeah! I forgot all about you! Oh, yeah! That's why this game is an adored sequel. Hey, wake up. All right, I'm Check here. Get off, Marines! <laughs> okay. Go, go, go! All right, what's my other gun? All right, just regular old human guns. Oops. I, I meant to... Sorry. I was uh, trying to punch him. Ah, punchy. Feeling punchy. Feeling punchy. Face high fives. Face high fives. Face, face, high, face high fives. Hey, hey, um, things are not looking, things are not looking great right now. Yeah, thank you guys. Okay, fine. Anytime you want more, mate, you know where I am. Okay. Come on, we're gonna lose it. Uh, why don't you just... Who's... Who's fighting where? Oh... I see. Cool. Alright, this way. I guess. Oh, we're not going this way. Look, dude, please. Shut they up. Didn't know we're here before. They do now. You guys are very annoying sometimes. I'm kinda of dealing with the down lows. Alright, sweetie, sweetie. Where? Where? Oh. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what, you guys just take care of what you see, I'll take care of what I see. And then we all live happily ever after until I sacrifice you guys because... Uh, the game only proceeds if I survive. Why don't you do me a favor and start zipping your face? Okay, where's a where's a freaking plasma rifle? Come on, give me the goods. Give me the goods. Where are the goods? Where are the goods? You got the goods? You got the goods. There we go. Now we're now we're happy. All right, what are we doing now? We got Oh, great. Oh, wait, those are just the shieldy ones. Yeah, they're just... They're, these guys are fine. Alright, where? I heard, I heard, I heard, but I don't know where. Uh, I guess gone? Okay. Whoa! Where, 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 where? 
Seriously, where? Where? Where are they? Where literally are they? Uh, I just want to know where do they be? Buggers, heading over the rooftops. Oh, those guys. Okay. Um. Aha! Okay. Oh, hello. You were right there the whole time. If you're gonna use a sniper rifle, at least hit something. Come on! I'm gonna regret those words later. How's it feel to be dead? Surprise, surprise. Whoa. Hello. Uh that's what I meant to do. Ah, Yeah, sure. Dream, live, yay. Um, I want to live, so can you please stop talking? Alright. So, thing I want to talk about this time. Hey, mind if I use that one? Ooh. So, this time, I kind of want to talk about something that's been on my mind a lot lately, which is... Uh... Determining which issues are important within a church and which ones are not. Because some. Where do we stand? Eyes up, panel's back. Ah, oh, great. I remember dying quite a few times at this point early on. Uh, can I move? There we go. Oh. Yep. Yeah. And that's why. Okay. Move, move, move. Get out of my way. No. There we go. Okay. Uh, what was I, what's this saying? Uh, deciphering which issues are actually important within the church and ones that are not. Now, I say this because, like, I, I'm a, I'm a theology nut myself. I, I love to study very difficult questions that, uh... Difficult questions that actually, you know people struggle with. Those to me are a lot of fun. Uh, but it doesn't mean that every single issue that we face is... I think I killed them too quickly. I would like to move on now, please. Pretty, pretty. Are you shooting corpses again or is there actually someone there? Oh, there is someone there. Hello. Okay. Meet you there. All, All right, right, cool. Let's move. Copy that. Can we just Come get there already? Let's move it. Let's move the booties. Which way are we going? Oh, heck. Oh, heck, it's brutes. <gasps> Worse. Frick. Stand back, Marine. Ah! I'd appreciate a little bit of help. A little bit. Thank you. Yeah, something would be nice. There we go. Okay. Second squad, this is Cortana. What is your status? Let's move. We're operational, ma'am. Barely. Our pilots didn't make All right. So, hold, stay put. We'll come to you. Sadly, sometimes, even for like big theology guys like me, we have to remember that not every issue we could fight about is an issue worth fighting about. 
sometimes issues are Sergeant, really just not uh basically armor, think of it like church splitting and issues and i heard of a church one time that split because oh heck can i have that i want i want it Help me out here, guys. Okay, let's get closer. Okay, heal, heal. Sometimes some issues really don't matter in the church. Um, they don't make an eternal difference. Hey, pop your head out. I want to see your shining little faces. Whoa. Hello. Okay. Hey, good time. I ain't going anywhere. Nice one, Mike. Okay, now I need to save my up close ammo, do some sniping. Cool. Chibu. Let's go get him. Okay. So, like, for example, an issue that I personally feel very passionate about, uh, because I think it's just... It should be very obvious, uh, is the, the Catholic doctrine that Mary was perpetually a virgin. That she stayed a virgin even after the birth of Jesus. My issue is, is you... The, the ish Glad you could make it. Hey! Crash site's on the other side of this hotel, Chief. Covenant are crawling all over it. Cool. Follow me. Um, I want another sniper. Do you have another sniper? It can be a human sniper. I don't care. We have a bunch of piddly little guns. Uh, what's... There we go. Four. Forgot that. Four. Stay out of sight. I tell you, there's no staying out of sight now. Okay. okay. Cool. We're good. Let's move. Settings like that are just so good. Things where you, you, uh, who there? I got another contact. Well, take him out. Excuse me, man. Little aliens, just little cuss buds. There we go. Oh, I already. Ah! All right, I got one shot left of this thing. Forward, muchachos! Ooh, pretty. And I believe this one has the horn. Bam! All right, let's go. We don't have to waste all of our time on this. Trouble, brother. Super dooby doo. Where are we headed? The highest concentration of Covenant troops is directly below the carrier. Okay. I don't think they want you to get on board. Cool. That bridge is the most direct route to the city center. Oh, Rob! Ah. 
Boom! Ha 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 ha! Ow! It's the horn. I love the horn. <laughs> oh yeah, you can uh, commandeer vehicles in this game. Shoot already! Dang gum, y'all are suck at this. Y'all suck at this. Ah, ooh, we're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. Less time here, more time there. Okay. Hey, can we make this thing pop? No. They block you from doing that. That sucks. Okay. Well, can we go this way? Get you, sucker. Ooh, we getting shoot it at. I'm supposed to be doing something with these? I don't remember. I don't remember things goodly. I right, get him, get him, get him, take him out. Thank you. And then it's gonna blow up again because that's what alien crap does. They blow up once and they blow up again. Yeah, I really don't remember if I'm supposed hey, to I'm falling back. You ain't going nowhere. Great, lovely. I love that. That's how. There we go. So you guys can do something. Oh, hello. Yeah, this way, this way. We're gonna ram them. Aha. Everybody's still here, right? So yeah, anyways, the evidence that's used for the perpetual virginity of Mary comes from one place and one place only. The, uh, the Gospel of James, which is a, a pseudo-scriptural work that claims that Mary was set aside to be a, uh, to basically be a servant at the temple, which means that she would have to forever stay a virgin. But, um... There's a little issue. Yeah, this is just a thing. This isn't this isn't a thing. It's just a thing. Okay. Yeah, I want the snipers, but ain't got no ammos for it. I'm in. Well, I'm glad because we're going places. I don't know where, but we're going places. Look there. sharp. I always look sharp. I always bring my best studs. Ooh, nicely done. Nicely done. Now let's run for our freaking lives. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. Here we go now. Ah, thank you. Good lord. Ooh, we are getting sniped. Whoa, heck! <laughs> what happened? Oh, shut your butt. Ah, oh, I have to start here again. But it comes from the Gospel of James, which is a very, a, a, a very definitely fake uh, scriptural, uh, scriptural account. It's very obvious that it was not written by James. I said because it, you can't put it to the same test that you would put the rest of Scripture. You know, we have Incoming. we have plenty of reason to hey, believe that Matthew was invited. written by Matthew, Luke was written by Luke, and then Mark, uh, it's you know spoken through Peter, uh, using Mark as the ah 
using Mark as the means by which it was recorded. But we have reason to believe that. Uh, when it comes to the Gospel of James, though, it is far more likely that it was not written by him than that it was. And that's really that's really part of the, the struggle that we have to have sometimes. We have to think, is it more likely that he would... Is it more likely that he would write it or that he would not write it based off of the evidence that we have? And most of the time, the uh, the evidence would say that it's more likely that he did not write it than that he did. That's And that's my big issue here. That is my cue to exit. Goodbye. Okay. We good? All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm getting out. See you, suckers. Have fun. Where is it? Where is it? It's in rough condition, but I can use it from a distance. Just fine. Chief, the carrier just launched a wave there of pod. Go. They're inbound on your position. Oh, sorry guys. Oh heck, I'm getting hit rough. Oh, this is not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Why is you there? Go away! Can I bring it down? I can't bring it down, but I can shoot the guns off of it. They did a great job scaling the game up to make it more interactive than it was before. Oh, this is going bad. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Let's try again. So, all of that to say, even though historically, theologically, there's no real reason to believe it, it's not an issue that I'm going to tooth and nail fight over. And I, I, oh, sorry guys. And you know, I'd thought about doing like a more in-depth, longer uh, video making those arguments, but it's just, it's just not really worth it. You know, it's like the core tenets of our faith are still intact even if someone were to believe Mary perpetually stays a virgin. Even though it has more significance for the uh, for the Catholic than it does for the non-Catholic. You know, for the for the Catholic, Mary is worth a lot more. Is She's worth a lot more uh, praise than she is in pretty much any other belief system. In any other belief system, she is a fallen person chosen by God. Um, who gets to be a part of God's bigger story. But in Catholicism, the belief is that Mary also was Just immaculately born. The bridge. It's full of rats, if you know what I mean. But it beats swimming. Anyways, um, yeah, swapping out for. Oh! There we go. Okay, we're good. Moving on. Analyzing the covenant At one point in time, I walked all of this. Confused. I don't think they expected us to be here. 
Not you and me. All of us. Humanity on Earth. Odd, I know, but it does help explain why they came here with such a small fleet. There we go. Alright, we're doing good? Doing good? Hey! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! I just tapped you. All I did was tap you. But yeah, anyways, Catholics believe that Mary was also immaculately conceived, that her mother was also a virgin. And that's why it's so significant that she uh, that she was the mother of Jesus. Of course she could be the mother of Jesus uh, because she was uh, also immaculately conceived. She's different from the rest of us. That's why it's so significant for uh, the Catholic to believe that Mary stayed forever a virgin. Uh, it carries so much more significance for the Catholic. But again, the, the core pieces of who Jesus is, for the most part, where am I stuck? Hey, hey. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right, whatever. We're walking. Come on. Here we go. Walking, walking, walking. All we do be walking. So, yeah, I, I, it does make me grumpy how many people believe in the uh, perpetual virginity of Jesus because it's just, it's just not a very historically affirmable belief. Uh, especially because when you look in the Greek language uh, regarding the words that are used, um, there's really not a way to support. Hey man, if I get shot, make sure to give me lots of drugs. Uh, <laughs> Free fallen. Uh, where's where's my light? <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. Okay. All right. Anyway, have a good time, little dude. Little dude. Uh, uh, where's uh, where's that ghost I just saw? Oh, there it is. Um, because even though I don't find it uh, historically accurate or anything, hit me like not you hit me a little bit like you directly hit me okay just keep going bada boo bada bee bada boo da boo da boo I forgot those things were a thing. It's over here. Anything good? Literally nothing good. Yeah, nothing good. Okay, moving on. Ajaba, ajabu. Ajabija, ajabu. On hit! Dang gummit! 
the Covenant must be trying to regroup. Don't let them. I'm working on it. I do, I do good work. Most of the time. I forgot I could do that. Go down. Bye bye. Blow, blow up. Blow up, blow up, blow up. All right. Who next? Who next? Well, I didn't even have to do much. Whoa! <laughs> uh, but it's not a doctrine I'm going to fight tooth and nail. I would much rather fight about something that uh, directly affects the divinity and manhood of Jesus. Uh, because those are things that actually pertain to salvation. As much as I hate doctrine of G uh, Mary's perpetual virginity, it's, it doesn't affect salvation as much. So it's not going to be the one that I fight tooth and nail over. And that's really what a lot of us have to do, really just in general, is like, we have to be careful about what we choose to fight over. Because we are called to unity, even with people that we disagree with. So, we as Christians must discern what's worth fighting over. And really, the only thing that's ultimately worth fighting for uh, is salvation. So if something directly affects the doctrines of salvation, then that is worth fighting for. If it doesn't, then I'm probably going to pass over it. At least for a temporary time being until I'm talking with someone that... Oh. Until I'm talking with someone who can have these conversations in a Christ-like manner. Alright, so, yay, there's that. But really, it is a terrible belief system. Alright, so... Once this uh, cutscene happens, I'm going to stop here, get you two good episodes in, and I got to get myself around and do some things for the day. So I want to thank you all very much for tuning in, and I will see you later. Peace out after the cutscene. Oh, I'm still here. It blew right through us. 50 cal, rockets, didn't do a thing. Where's the rest of your platoon? Wasted, Sarge. And we will be too, sir, if we don't get the hell out of here. You hit Marine. No, sir. Then listen up. The chief is gonna jump in this tank, roll across the bridge, and blow up any inhuman son of a bitch dumb enough to get between him and the prophet of regret. Pull yourself together, because you're going with it. What about that scab? We've all run the simulations. They're tough, but they ain't invincible. Stay with the master chief. He'll know what to do. Yes, sir, sergeant. Thanks for the tank. He never gets me anything. Oh, I know what the ladies like.